Hey guys, welcome to Pro4 Vision, and today we're just going to be taking a look at some Mario figures. Uh, we got five of them that we're going to be looking at. First up, we got Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, Toad, and Donkey Kong! Yeah! It has been so long since I've been able to do something like that, and I gotta say, it feels right. It feels right. Anyway guys, these figures were released by Popco around 2008 or 2009. Uh, when I look up some research, they say 2009, but I could have swore I'd gotten them for Christmas in the year 2008, but I don't know. Now let's take a look at each of them individually. Alright, first let's take a look at Mario. Now when it comes to these figures, they're really, really hollow, so you can't really break them too much. It's like If they fall off a shelf, they're not going to break, which is really, really nice. However, they may get scuffed up. So anyway, here the, the articulation on these things are very, very limited. Like, you only get like an arm swivel for Mario. So if you're looking for a proper action figure, these are not for you. But the detail on these guys are actually really, really great. They, even to today's standards, the, the attention to detail is actually really good. Now let's take a look at Luigi. Here when these figures first came out, I believe they were retailing anywhere from like... 13 to 15 dollars somewhere around there so they were a little expensive they weren't too bad but anyway for Luigi you got a head swivel and go 360 and then just arm swivels so not too much it didn't give Mario much head articulation because his head would always be scraping against his chest so for Luigi it wasn't really much of an issue again great attention to detail mine is beaten to hell because I never had a proper place to store it so I always threw it in a book bag or something, and yeah, that's a terrible idea. Now I have shelves, and I gotta say, I much prefer shelves over a book bag full of toys. And here's Yoshi, looking adorable as ever. Now, the only thing I don't really like about Yoshi figures is that if you look at him head-on, the nose really, like, covers up the eyes, and it's really annoying, so you'd have to admire it from an angle in order for you to get a proper, good, you know, loving for this figure. Anyway, we got a head swivel, we got arm swivels, and then we also got leg swivels down here, so that's really cool. This is probably the most articulated figure out of the bunch. Again, attention to details, really, really good. I'm really happy with it. And then we also got Toad. We got a head swivel, arm swivel, and that's pretty much about it. Unfortunately, this one was tearing, so I actually had to super glue it down, unfortunately. But I don't really plan on playing with this figure, so it doesn't really matter too much to me. But whatever, it's still something if you end up getting this figure, you do want to be careful with the arms because they can tear a little bit because of how small these things are and how they're hollow and other stuff like that. Again, attention to detail is absolutely awesome. Again, mine's all scuffed up and it looks like it's been played with by a child. Um, um, I forget how old I was when I had this. But anyway, it was a really cool figure and I was really happy with it. But again, I really, really happy I have shelves now instead of just having a book bag full of toys. And then we got Donkey Kong. Now he's the biggest out of the set and he only has four points of articulation. He only has arm swivels up here and here. And then we got the leg swivels right here. So you can't really do too much with him. Also, if you want to count his tie as articulation, there you go. His tie can move a little bit, but it's not really meant to. But anyway, uh, it looks really, really great. Um, there's not too many Donkey Kong figures out. Eh, no, I take that back. There are plenty. But this is probably one of the best looking ones, in my opinion. It looks really, really fantastic. I never got the World of Nintendo one, but I gotta say that one looks freaking creepy as mess. I'd rather have this one over them. I also had a Donkey Kong Country figure before. Uh, one of them, Eric actually already has. And yeah, I gotta say, this is probably like the best one that you can probably find out there. And that's pretty much the figures. This is the first wave of figures made by Popco. I believe Global ended up getting the Mario license or Nintendo as a whole and ended up re-releasing these figures, but they really improved Mario because they gave him head articulation. They pretty much gave him a whole new sculpt, but all he did was add uh, head articulation and they changed the way he looks a little bit, like the way that the head looks. It bothers me a little bit, but whatever. I like this version better mainly because how it looks. Then they also released other characters like Wario, but unfortunately I never got those figures. I only got the initial Popco first wave. Apparently trying to get a complete collection back in the day was a little bit hard to do apparently when I'm looking it up online, but I didn't have any trouble at all trying to get them. So anyway, it's all about the past. We're talking about the future now or present. We're Time travel! Back to the future! Now, do I recommend these figures? That really depends on your preference. Now, if you're looking for some good detail figures and you worry about them falling off the shelf or something and having them break, then these are some good figures that you should pick up. They usually go for about $10 to $15, depending on if they're in the box or not. 
I go, if you go to Toy Wiz, you can pick them up for less than 20 bucks each. But if you're going to be spending that much money, you might as well go with the Bandai Tamashi Nation figures because they have great articulation and they have really good sculpts and stuff like that. But these are honestly really good looking figures. If you can find them for about $10 each, then that's a really good deal. You should pick them up. If you find them for $15, eh, it's a, that's still an okay price. But don't pay any more than $20 per figure. If you're looking for something to play with, but you don't have too much of a budget, then I highly recommend the World of Nintendo figures because even though they're not as like high detailed or articulated as like Figma or SH Figure Arts and stuff like that, they're still really good figures and they're great for kids. And that's pretty much my review of these figures. They're great to have on a shelf, but they're not really the best figures to play with. If you want something to play with, go for the World of Nintendo figures. But if you want something that looks really cool on a shelf, these are great choices as well. And as always, later days.